Dr. Don Johansson, he actually did four frauds. And the first fraud is so stunning that I, I just find it, I just can barely talk about it. It's so stunning. Dr. Johansson said, Lucy, who, who that's a skeleton he found, walked upright on two feet. Why did it walk upright? And he wrote this in his book, Lucy the Language. He said, because in Lake Tolly, Tanzania, there are a set of footprints and the only animals found at Lake Tolly, only hominids, are afarensis or Lucy type. It's kind of a hollow argument. You know, you might not have preserved the human uh, bones and it was made by human, but it, it's good enough. I understand what he's saying. At where the footprints are found, they only found Lucy fossils. So Debbie and I jumped in a plane, flew to Tanzania, met with the former director of the National Museum in Tanzania, and said, we'd like to photograph every fossil from Laetoli, all the eight-man fossils. And we started out with LH1, Laetoli hominid 1, it was a Lucy fossil. Laetoli fossil 2, it was a Lucy tooth. Laetoli fossil 3, it was a Lucy jaw. Laetoli fossil 4, it was a Lucy skull piece. Da, da, da. And when we got to Laetoli fossils uh, 18, LH18, they bring out a human skull. Now, you said that the footprints were proved that Lucy walked upright because there was no humans there. And yet there was a human skull found at Laetoli. Nobody knows that, by the way. Johansson also made a full case that Lucy walked upright because her knee was human-like. It was a human-like knee. And I get it. You know, how can you contradict it? How do you, how, who of us could know the difference between a human and an ape knee, really? So Debbie and I jumped on a plane, flew to Paris, and interviewed his partner at the dig site. His name is Dr. Yves Copens. And we said, uh, Dr. Copens, this is shortly before he died, Dr. Copens, the knee joint of Lucy, was it human-like or was it ape-like? I'm knowing Ned's going to say human-like because that's what his partner said. And his partner, Johansson, said that all, all evaluations of the knee joint show that it's a human-like knee. So anyway, Dr. Copens, what was the knee joint like? And he said, oh, the knee joint is not human-like. It's an ape knee. I was like, are you kidding me? And he was so matter of fact about it. So that was another fraud when he said that all evaluations showed it was a human knee. The third one was the, um, the pelvis of Lucy. And I want to show you why that is fraud. This in his book is a picture of his pelvis. Now, a human pelvis turns forward, okay? Whereas a chimp pelvis turns side, I mean, it doesn't turn at all. It just goes out sideways. And you can see this very well in our book because we've spent a lot of time giving you the pictures to understand this. And you can, you can understand it if you go through the book. And he said, look, Lucy's pelvis is round and curved and goes forward like a human pelvis. Now, we all know that he altered the pelvis and cut it up with a saw and changed it from an ape pelvis, which would mean that he didn't walk upright. You can see this, this pelvis goes out sideways. Here it is again. It goes out sideways and doesn't turn forward. And here is the side view. It comes out sideways right in front of you. He changed it from the sideways ape pelvis to a human round pelvis. And he did that with a buzz saw. And he did that in the movie In Search of Human Origins on Nova. What made this fraudulent is that whenever he then released copies of his fossil, he did not tell anybody else, unless you had seen the Nova, that this is not real bone. See, this looks like real bone, and this looks like plaster. And you just copied this from this. But the real bone is not real bone. It looks like real bone. He actually cut it here, cut it here, cut it here, put in plaster, and then he painted it to make it look like real bone. And that's fraudulent. And that's what's at the different museums. This cast, and nobody tells you that this is changed from an ape pelvis to a human pelvis. Kind of a problem.